Hello and welcome back to ToyTube. Today we are going to be unboxing and reviewing these Leap Motion drones that we have. These are two in one, a drone, quadcopter, and a motorbike. So the drone turns into a motorbike and let's just see what it says on the package itself. Leap Deformation Motorcycle slash quadcopter. And it comes with this hand um, Leap Motion um, controller and over here it says altitude hover one key takeoff and landing 360 flip deformation emergency stop and they've also got this other type of drone this this is um, a standard one we have but they've got this optional one that also has one key return headless mode and Wi-Fi camera so the one we have is the standard one it doesn't have a camera and it doesn't have the one key return and um, the headless mode let's turn it over for use so this is the one that we've got with this leap motion controller I'm not sure which colors inside we'll open it and have a look and this is the one um, I think this is the optional one that has the uh, one key return, emergency landing, and it, it's got all the same things as the standard one, but I think the recordings, um, the optional thing, and the one key return. So let's have a look, open it up. I noticed that it has this little bit on the packaging I'm going to try to open it for you and see what's behind it because okay so this is the green one that's cool it comes with the image but if you take it off it's got the plastic guard on it and underneath you can see your quadcopter okay so I've opened it and this is what we have inside we've got the quadcopter that turns into the motorbike these look like wheels over here we've got some extra propellers a USB cable for charging a little screwdriver and Actually, I think this is for charging. Oh no, this is the hand um, leap motion controller. I'll put this on my hand and show you guys what it looks like. I'll um, play with it for a second to see. So the controller itself looks like that let me try to put it on my hand for you guys and see what so here is the controller comes with a button over here one button there So I'd put my finger in this bit, stick it on tightly using the Velcro and this bit, I think my thumb goes in there, it's quite big actually for my hand. I've got small hands but it fits. And there we have it. That's what it looks like. It's got a button there, so keep it down so I can reach it with my thumb. And now I'm going to show you guys a quadcopter and see um, how to convert it into the motorbike and how to add the wheels and everything. So, here's the quadcopter. 
I've got the green color, which is nice. I think they've got blue. They're probably the only two colors they have because on the packaging it says green and blue only. This is what it looks like as a drone quadcopter um, mode. Now let's try to turn it into a motorbike and then once I've shown you both the ways it could be um, transformed into, I'll show you it working. So, on the wheels I've noticed there are letters B and also on the quadcopter there's a B there. So basically, you just align the, the arrows together, place it in, and then you lock it. So you turn it this way to lock. Let's see how easy that is. Yep. That's locked. The next one is A1. Let's find A1. And the arrows, there's an arrow there and an arrow there. Click it into place. And then you just lock it. The next one is B1. This one's B1. Put it in, oopsie, the arrows. And then you lock it in. And the final one. These wheels come with this guard thing. So the motorbike doesn't tip over whilst you're driving it. And the guard thing has to go into this bit. And then lock it. And then there we have it. Now it's got wheels on it. So that's what it looks like now. So there's two guards there, one there and one there. And now this is the first time I'm actually doing this. So let's see, turn it over, one there, one there. And then these two little things click in. So it's firm and secure when you're riding it yep there you go so now it's securely put together there you go there you have it it's a motorbike now i'm just going to put on the leap motion um, controller onto my hand and show you guys how to on it Okay guys, so I just noticed that before we on it, we need to connect the battery with the actual quadcopter. So, you open it up, the battery is down here. Turn it around, open this bit and this is the battery. Put it in here this little bit need um, tiny fingers for this bit that way I think that's in yep looks in push it in Close it. Oh, yep, started up already. It's got a white light at the front, a red light at the back. Underneath it's got two blue lights, two green lights. So let's close it into the motorcycle mode again. Click it into place. 
and there's your motorbike let's off this for one second I'm gonna on it now once I've got my leap motion controller on okay so here we have it my hand controllers on and there's the motorbike we're gonna on the motorbike first by pressing that button and then the hand controller pressing this button and then we have to wait till they're connected now we know they're connected when they stop flashing to let the um, controller know that it's in motorbike mode we have to press this button on the side over here three times and if you want to use it in quadcopter mode you only press it once so let me just show you guys now pick it up because it's on um, this is velvet and I, I don't think it will work on on the floor and there you have it it's connected and now we're going to show you let me just off it I'm going to show you guys a demo of it in quadcopter mode and the motorbike mode it working one of my little helpers is going to use it on their hand and we'll let you know we'll show you how it's it looks. so this is it in quadcopter mode right now and um, we've also got a blue one we've got two of these a green one and a blue one and we're just going to show you how to connect it whilst it's in quadcopter mode do you want it on it press the buttons and on the hand controller and then that little button on the finger just click it once put it on the floor and there we go can you do a flip for us So that was a 360 flip. We can't be doing this outside right now because um, it's really windy today and it's dark right now. So we can't record outside, but I'll definitely be doing that on a later day to show you guys how good it is. And now I'm just going to make him demonstrate to us how to go forward, back and do the flip using the hand control. Okay, so to go forward, you just need to do this motion and to go back you do this motion and to do the flip what do you do you just click it once is that what you do okay so to do the flip the 360 flip you just click it once now we're going to show you um, how it works in the motorcycle mode but we're going to have to do it in a different room because of the flooring okay so this is it in the motorbike mode now we're just going to connect the hand controller with the motorbike and show you how it goes so it's connected now on the floor and connect the controller one click of the finger oh when it's in motorbike mode you do three clicks when it's in quadcopter you do one click and then it just goes So let, let him just demonstrate with the hand. Go back. Is that how you go back? This is back. How do you go forward? And this is forward. It's really simple to do. And that's it guys. We've got the quadcopter and motorcycle. It's really easy and fun to play with. It does say 14 plus. But anyone younger I'm sure you can play with it. And underneath it said it's tested according to international standards so it's safe as well and it's not that expensive it came quite cheaply and um, thank you for watching this video give it a thumbs up a like make sure you subscribe to our channel if you haven't already and we've also got a toy bundle giveaway you can check that out on our last video and make sure you subscribe to enter that competition thank you for watching see you next time bye bye